The final City Pass versus Novak Djokovic is the second semi final for the men's event in Paris for 2022. And both guys have had different roads to get to this stage. The final City Pass entered the tournament as the number five seed and will get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he take on Dan Evans, who had just beaten Nakashima in a close three setter, but this posed no problem for City Pass, winning through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-4. In the third round, he take on the qualifier, Mute, who had just beaten Chorich and Nori back to back in very long matches, but the City Pass match seemed too much for Mute, with Steph getting through in straights, 6-3, 7-6, to get to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, City Pass would take on the unseeded Paul, who had beaten Rafa Nadal along the way. But unfortunately for Paul, this was where the dream run ended, with City Pass winning in straight sets, 6-2, 6-4. Novak Djokovic entered the tournament as the number six seed and got a bye in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on the serve volley player Cressy, and after a very close first set, where Cressy pushed Djokovic and pressured him, Nole eventually prevailed in straight sets, 7-6, 6-4. In the third round, he'd take on Karin Hashinov, a man that he had played already three times in 2022. And after a frustrating first set, Djokovic got it together in the second, beating Hashinov again in straight sets, 6-4, 6-1, to advance to the quarterfinal stage. In the quarterfinals, Novak Djokovic would take on Lorenzo Musetti, who had just come off beating Kasper Ruud in a three-setter. But unfortunately, Musetti couldn't replicate that against the best, losing pretty convincingly to Djokovic, 6-love, six 6-3, six getting Novak into another semifinal in Paris. These were played 10 times before, with Djokovic leading the head-to-head, -head, eight wins, two losses, Tsitsipas hasn't won a match against Djokovic for a long time. In fact, Djokovic has won their last seven that they've played, including one a few weeks ago in the final of Astana. If Tsitsipas is going to win, he's going to have to learn from that loss that he had a couple of weeks ago in Astana. He's going to have to mix it up as well because he does get a little predictable, I think, for someone like a Djokovic. He's going to have to be aggressive, maybe a little bit too risky as well, going for the backhand down the line, coming to the net, being aggressive, making it a little bit harder for Djokovic, keeping it unpredictable is how he's going to try and maybe take Nole out. If Djokovic is going to win, he's going to have to just play again the same way he's been playing all week. Just keep his head because he has got a little frustrated in the last couple of matches, despite them being pretty straightforward on the score lines. He hasn't been as cool, calm, and collected as we've seen. And I think City Pass might get a little bit more crowd support because he is the underdog. So he's going to have to block that out as well, Nole, if he's going to get to another final. This is a very fun matchup. And we did see it a few weeks ago. Uh, and it wasn't that uh, exciting, I guess, in the end, if you look at the score. City Pass didn't really have a chance in that one. But I think City Pass might make a better match of this one. But I don't think he's going to win it. I think Djokovic is going to win this one in three sets, make another Paris final, and maybe set up the match against Ojeliasim if Ojeliasim wins his. But let me know in the comments below. Who do you think is winning this semi? final.